Hello, everyone. How are you, Canada? So, our topic for today is how to start a small business in Canada. Step by step. Sponsored by RaffineBeautyProduct.com So this is our presentation. So uh, if you already uh, immigrate to Canada and you're here, uh, not only to find uh, work, a job, but also you have uh, to, to, uh, to think about your future putting your own business uh, either it's in a commercial area or it's uh, within your home and uh, this is uh, my promise uh, that uh, not only we're, we're not gonna talk only about the uh, being a Canadian citizen being a uh, immig uh, immigrant here so the first, uh, the, the the following steps that you need to follow is uh, starting a small business here in Canada. I'll give you the step-by-step -step process. First is come up with a good idea or a good uh, business uh, idea. Uh, write a business plan if needed. And I think this is the most important thing is to put up a uh, business plan or uh, any plans how to start and how to market the business. So it's just like the, our sponsor, the RaffineBeautyProduct.com. Uh, they started uh, very small and they're online now globally. And also the uh, third is to choose a winning name for your business. Fourth is choose a form of business ownership. Five is uh, find a small uh, business financing. Get a business license. Seven is registered for uh, GST or HST or uh, uh, tax from the CRA. Uh, next is registered for provincial sales tax if needed. Nine is prepare to have an employees in the future. For now, you can just do it by yourself. Uh, Ten is buy additional business insurance. Eleven is uh, set your record uh, straight early. And number twelve is the most important thing. Is market your business. son here yeah he's with me so I'm also working from home just like uh, anybody else so it's a pandemic and it's time to move on not just not uh, not just relying on uh, having a job but you need to put something beside it just in case so first is uh come up with a good idea what services do you like to provide what product do you like to sell like uh if you have if you if you're a good or, or of what you uh, do like uh, landscaping, construction, uh, uh, cutting hair, or whatever things that you'd like to do to, for service or any service that you want to provide. That's the most import, important thing to think of uh, coming up with a business idea. Or 
or if you want to sell products, yes, products like uh, like our sponsor, uh, the RaffineBeautyProduct.com. So the the owner of this uh, company, uh, she started uh, liking soaps, uh, and then uh, during the pandemic, she's uh, she think of what. Selling the, the things that she likes, and that's how the business starts. Like, if you want also to do, uh, if you're good in uh, podcasting, then you can do podcast like like what I do and uh, uh, look for sponsorship. And and uh, coming up with a business idea, I, I, I got this from website so uh, it doesn't matter whether you're in Canada or elsewhere a uh, successful business starts with a uh, good idea uh, it's, it's a trial and error at the first time so the most important thing is uh, there is a need of your product or services. If there's no need of your services or product, don't don't do it. <laughs> this is gonna waste your time. So first is uh, is there a need uh, like food? Everyone's uh, like uh, like uh, everyone is eating every day. So it never stops. So every. Uh, every day the, the or every day the population grows there's a need of food and uh, like uh, beauty products uh, of course uh, during this uh, pandemic day um, you need you need to uh, make yourself feel good or help help health uh, and wellness products and uh, services like uh, cleaning uh, it, there, there's always a cleaners uh, demand out there if people are busy they don't have time to clean or you look for a company that requires cleaning there's there's tons of uh, business that you can do so study your skills Watch uh, current trends and look for ways to improve upon existing uh, concepts or contribute something new to the market. And test your idea uh, thoroughly before you invest serious time and money into it. So next is uh, write a business plan uh, before you launch your uh, business. Uh, you have to think about the uh, the uh, business plan. So the best way to test your ideas is by turning it into a business plan. This will allow you to thoroughly examine everything about the industry, products, and markets for your business. Uh, it will uh, also give you some, uh, give, uh, give you something to present to uh, investors and lenders if you require that, and ultimately uh, testing ground for your business idea. Uh, before you launch uh, your business, you should have a thorough, complete business plan to guide you early in the process. Uh, Though it's possible to put uh, together a quick uh, start uh, plan that will show you whether your business ideas is viable. So next, uh, choose a winning name for your business. Uh, uh, choosing a business name comes with both uh, legal and marketing consideration. 
in Canada, the government places uh, more name restrictions on corporations than on uh, than on a uh, sole proprietorship. Most uh, uh, business or uh, but but every business owners will have to consider legal issues when naming their business. Uh, sometimes uh, there, are, there there are already uh, existing businesses that you are thinking and it's in your head and that's the name you want but there's already owned the trade name so you have to research first before coming up uh, you know you need to choose a catchy name which uh, which uh, if you put, if you expose it on the market, people will always remember that name and that's your brand, you know, it's branding. Most businesses will at least have to register their name with the Canadian government. In terms of marketing, uh, your business name should communicate what the business does in a way that's uh, visually interesting, memorable, and positive. So uh, the fourth is uh, choose a form uh, of a business ownership, whether it's a uh, sole proprietor, a sole proprietorship, or uh, you know. Uh, a partnership or a corporation and uh, when when I was uh, registering I'm here uh, in Alberta and when I registered my business name and uh, there was a lady that's uh, want to uh, register the business name and uh, the, the lady from the registries uh, asked her do you want a corporation? Do you want a proprietorship? A sole proprietorship? A partnership? And the lady don't understand, but uh, she said she wants to register uh, business. Uh, you know, uh, before going to, re to register to register your business, you have to think if you want to do it by yourself as a uh, sole proprietor. If just if it's just a sole proprietor, it means you just use your name and you just register a trade name under you. So that's a sole proprietorship. And so let's just uh, let's just uh, read this one. When starting a business in Canada, there are only three basic forms of uh, business ownership that you can choose from for a business structure. The sole proprietorship, the partnership, and the corporation. There are, there, there are a few options within those, such as a cooperative corporation or the limited uh, partnership. But they all, uh, they all fall under these three umbrellas. Uh, deciding which structure is uh, right for your business will depend on several factors. From your comfort level with liability to tax deduction you want for your business. So this means if, if, it's, if you registered your business for sole proprietorship, you just need to think of a trade name if you want a uh, sole proprietorship. If you go to the registries and uh, you want to register your business and, you, have, and uh, you want it for sole proprietorship, and ask them to, uh, I want to register a business name or a trade name under a sole proprietorship. So the, all the liabilities uh, through you. And if you want a corporation, you can also register it under a corporation. And sometimes it's uh, like if there are already names that you want to 
registered or uh, if you want to name it like uh, for example uh, Canadian Experience Corporation uh, Raffini Beauty Product Corporation so that, that's uh, a trade name and a company name but usually if you want to register a corporation under a uh, the numbered corporation it's it's very easy because you can get the the, the uh, corporate uh, registry's name right away and then you can register a trade name under that corporation so if you register a trade name under a corporation like a uh, numbered numbered corporation uh, like numbered alberta inc which the one I registered under that because I have uh, two, two businesses uh, that links on that uh, corporate name and then uh, you can just uh, register a trade name under that corporate name so uh, uh, the uh, choosing uh, business ownership under a sole proprietorship that's uh, it's a the liabilities is directed or directly to you. So if you register a corporation, the liabilities re uh, goes to the corporation. So that's that's th those are the forms of uh, business ownership that you you need to think of. W which do you want? So next is the. Uh, uh, of course, this is the most important thing. Uh, where to find your financing? So using your business plan, you can loan uh, to a bank. So or sometimes if you started small, uh, what I did before is I, I, I put up a landscape uh, company. It's, it's a small landscape company just for myself. But along the way, I, uh, I got a big project which I need to hire a uh, labor. And then, yeah, I, I, I started... I started uh, doing fence fence job and I got a big project which I need to hire people and I didn't I didn't think that uh, you know uh, I, I didn't I, w I did not expect that it goes like that but along the way so I, I find it uh, it's hard for for me and along the way it's doing the, the landscape for five years and you know sometimes people uh, your labor or your help helpers will, will, will you know uh, most of the income that you get to think of your payroll it's it's a little bit hard but if you do it just by yourself just uh, do the service you know just enough for you that's fine but uh, along the way you have to be prepared if you give a uh, good uh, services if you're if you want to sell services so be prepared for the demand and then uh, if you sell product like yeah let's let's just uh, example example for the our, our sponsor here the raffinibeautyproducts.com so this they uh, they sell products online so it started uh, it just came up uh, this uh, pandemic days. Lots of people are thinking of business because they lost their job. So fi finding uh, financing to finance your business it uh, it depends if you want to grow it or you want do you want to grow it right away. Of course, you need money. So uh, what I did before is I just. Uh, uh, I did not uh, look for uh, financing. I just do it little by little. What I did is I look for a uh, project. And then I started with one project. And then it, 
uh, when I get the the uh, the payments, then I put the you know it it depends on how how you manage your finances. Whether you you can do it by thirty percent of your income goes to your uh, pocket, your savings, and the seventy percent of your income goes to the, your operational cost of growing your business. So we're gonna tackle that next time after after this uh, uh, after this uh, how how to start up a, a small business in Canada. So uh, it says here uh, on the uh, finding small business financing. Uh, while some owners can finance their new small business out of their own pockets, many others others need an infusion of funds from other sources to get off the ground. There are uh, many options to consider from debt financing to sharing equity to government grants understand the differences between each kind of financing and be sure you're prepared to deal with the obligations of whichever ones you choose So next is uh, get a business license. Well, well, well. It's sometimes it's not necessary uh, for all businesses to get a business license. Many new uh, businesses uh, will need to get business licenses before they can uh, operate legally within their municipalities. If your uh, city or town doesn't have a website, you can find contacts, information to government agencies online. Depending on what kind of business you're starting, you may also uh, need uh, other licenses and permits. Industries, Canada's, uh, where is the business file here? It's, uh, I was reading this one here. So like yeah, uh, getting uh, licenses. It's not just a business license. Like uh, here in Calgary, if you're if you have a uh, commercial uh, store, you need to get a business license. But if you're just doing it, yeah, uh, if you're doing a business, a home business, and you're not uh, doing the business in your home, uh, but you are just uh, providing a. Uh, a uh, services outside from other you know from other places and you don't you don't have a physical uh, commercial place uh, you don't need a business license but but you have to register uh, your business uh, in your municipality so you will know if you require a business license or they just need a, uh, it's just required to register your business through your municipalities. So they will tell you if you need it or no. And like uh, before I planned uh, to have, uh, like if you plan, uh, before I planned a structural pest control. So you need to get a license. And I, I have a landscape, uh, you know, a land, landscape pesticide applicator's license. When, when you're doing the landscape, uh, like, because uh, if you're killing weeds, if you want to spray for weeds, you need a, uh, you need a license for that. So if you're uh, cutting hair, or if you want uh, applying, you know, uh, what cosmetics uh, or massage it requires a license to like if you want to put up a uh, home care or daycare or uh, whatever there are uh, there are register of licenses or what whatever your skills that needs license uh, you need to get it so those are licenses that that require
registered for the GST, HST in most cases unless your new small business gross income stays under $30,000 for four consecutive quarters. You'll have to register for the goods and services uh, tax, GST, and harmonized sales tax. So this is a requirement if your business is already like uh, in most cases, uh, unless your new business, uh, well, if you have a thirty thousand income every quarter, and you need to register for your GST. But if not, you just need to, you know, uh, uh, consider it uh, as. Uh, you don't need to collect a GST, or you don't need to pay the GST. But if you want, uh, it can you can do it voluntarily too. So if you're not sure about the tax, uh, tax, uh, uh, you know, uh, paying tax for your business, you need to get an accountant. What you can do? Actually, it's easy. You can just uh, the the CRA has guidelines. Just go to their website if you need guides. Uh, there, there are lots of uh, resources in there to guide you how to uh, pay your taxes and uh, register uh, if you required a uh, payroll. And you, yeah, it's everything there. So the uh, Canada.ca uh, CRA. So next is uh, registered for provincial sales tax. So uh, Shari also have a uh, she also have a YouTube channel. So uh, register for uh, provincial sales tax. Some provinces have uh, have, have uh, not harmonized their sales tax with uh, federal GSD, and uh, in those provinces. You will also have to register to collect and remit the appropriate provincial tax. If you are starting a business in uh, Alberta, British Columbia, Manitoba, or Saskatchewan, you will need to register as a collector of, of a provincial sales tax. In Quebec, you will need to register for Quebec sales tax or QSD. So this uh this uh, pro provincial uh, provincial tax. If, if you're uh, fortunate enough to be doing business in Alberta, Northwest Territories, Nunavut, or Yukon, you don't need to worry about ch charging provincial sales tax on the goods or services that you sell in your province or territory because they are none. So we are lucky here in Alberta. Northwest Territories, Nunavut, or Yukon. But in the rest of the country, the provincial sales tax situation is more complicated. New Brunswick, Newfoundland, and Labrador, Nova Scotia, Ontario, and Prince Edward Island operate under a harmonized tax system. So this means they have combined uh, their provincial sales tax with a federal GST. So when selling retail goods and services in, the, in these provinces, instead of charging GST and PST separately, you, you charge the single harmonized sales tax or uh, HST. So British Columbia, Manitoba, Quebec, and Saskatchewan 
treat the provincial sales tax as separate from the federal goods and services services tax. So PST, GST are charged separate line items on invoices in uh, in these provinces. So yeah. Uh, to make matters even more confusing, Manitoba refers to its provincial sales tax system as retail sales tax instead of as PST. And then uh, there's Quebec, which has its own tax entirely. So the Quebec sales tax or uh, QST. <laughs> So number nine, uh, prepare for to have employees like I discussed a while ago, uh, if needed, or prepare for this in the future when your business grows. So for now, you can do it by by yourself, or you can ask for uh, help from your family. So this one is uh, yeah, just prepare just in case the demand of your services grows and uh, you need help. Next is uh, buy additional business insurance. This is very important. Beyond the legal, legally required employment insurance, your business may need additional protection. Like uh, if you work by yourself, you like uh, you need a WCB, liability insurance, etc. Yeah, insurance is very important if you're doing services or even you're just selling products because of the uh, liabilities in case there are complaints of just for example if you're doing a landscaping or if or simply if you're doing a snow removal or if you are doing a carpentry work or if you're doing uh, uh, anything that uh, service that might uh, you know uh, sometimes uh, you know you, you can tell accidents, right? And also, if you're doing by yourself, uh, you need a WCB just in case you uh, well, just in case you are protected. If you can't uh, if, you, if you can't work and there's there's something happening, but oh, let's not think. You, we have to think always about safety. That's the most important thing. But insurance. Uh, this is the one that will protect you. If there are other liabilities, the insurance was the one going to, uh, you know, uh, if you required uh, legal services and if you have insurance. So there are somebody who's going to, you know, take care of everything for the liability thing. So next is uh, set your record uh, straight early. So this is uh, start by opening a separate uh, business bank account. Uh, of course, if you're doing business, you cannot uh, you cannot uh, combine the business income into your personal account. You need to open a business bank account and keeping and organizing your business receipt. So if you keep uh, good records from the first moment you open your business, things such as accounting and paying taxes become much easier. Start by opening a separate business bank account just like what I said a while ago and keeping and organizing your business receipts. Using a basic accounting software will help you stay organized early and scale your business as it grows. So if you're just starting and you don't have the capacity to hire an accountant, you know, uh, you just uh, I, I was using the the Square. You just go to Square.com, or you can use the Wave. Uh, through Wave, uh, it's there. They have a there is a monthly fees or there is a the pay as you go and 
uh, it, it's a good one. That's what I'm using for my business. It's very easy. Or you can, or if you already open a bank account and uh, register to the Wave apps, and then uh, your bank account will be linked into the your bank, and then uh, you can do the invoicing in there, and then you can collect uh, payments in there. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's very nice product. It's, it's a friendly user, and it's easy. I'll get to tackle that next time to to to, to guide you. So again, uh, thanks to our sponsor, RafiniBeautyProducts.com. Just uh, be, visit there. Uh, without our sponsor. Uh, it will be hard for us to continue. So number 13, uh, sorry, number 12, market your business. That's the last one. That's the most info important things to do. Because if you don't know how to market your business, and uh, you're not making business. So you should uh, have already planned your marketing strategy on uh, when, when you're doing the the business plan so yeah after all the work you put into organizing and launching your business uh, don't forget to one of the most important steps promoting your business because uh, if you don't promote it you will not earn you should have already planned your marketing strategy when you made your business plan uh, but now is the time to put it into action. Start transplanting or sorry, tra translating those plans into goals and specific marketing initiatives so you can get your business off to a great start. We're gonna tackle also that uh, uh, how to market your business uh, locally. So that's the, the that's the hardest part uh, in doing business. But if you're plan, if you already have plan on uh, on your business plan, how to market your business, uh, you need to focus on where who who needs your product. Uh, like it's very easy to market a plan today. Uh, to market your business today, services and product because. Uh, in social media, they're everywhere. There are lots of groups like market your products on the marketplace on Facebook or on a Google uh, Google Place. If you want, if you're servicing locally, like in Calgary or wherever cities or municipalities you are, just go to Google and register your business in there. And so you can be visible. Visibility, the visibility online is the most important thing because that's how people will find you. In in your uh, ev everyone has cell phones. So like if I need a cleaner today and I'm gonna go to KGG, I go to Google, I type on Google, like uh, type cleaners. You should be on the ranking the first page or you are in the Google Place. That's the uh, number one thing you need to do first to be visible online. Like if I need uh, beauty products, I'm gonna look for raffinibeautyproduct.com or just gonna type uh, I need a uh, anti-wrinkle uh, so, if I if I need uh, this work, where, you know I have wrinkles. So if I need those products, I just type in my local area anti wrinkle soap, and it appears there. So, so that's that that's how uh, uh, marketing uh, is very easy today. Just go online, build a website through Google. So uh, next, uh, just for a recap, so th those are uh, step by step on how to start up your uh, business in Canada. So again, uh, for the recap, uh, starting a business in Canada, step by step, come up with good business ideas, write a business plan, 
choose a winning name for your business, choose a form of business of ownership, find small business financing, get a business license or li other licenses that requires, uh, register for uh, GST if, it, if needed, register for pro provincial sales tax if, tax if, if needed, or uh, uh, prepare for, to have uh, employees if you're uh, if your if your business grows, uh, buy additional uh, business insurance, set up your records straight early, then market your business. Those are the twelve steps that you need to uh, think of uh, doing business. So we're gonna tackle uh, uh, on the, the on the marketing side next time and how to grow uh, your business. So that's our next topic, how to grow your small business. And of course, it comes with their how to market your uh, business. So before we uh, say goodbye, I need to thank my uh, sponsor, uh, the uh, RaffiniBeautyProduct.com. Just go to the website here. Uh, they have they have a website, and you can uh, if you're in Calgary, you can buy products here. These are beauty products. I'm I'm using of this uh, this product, so it's very nice one. So this is only an example of how to market the product. So you need to have a website like this and put all your uh, products here. Or if you're selling a service, uh, you can also need to have a website. So they have, they have soaps here. So they have different kinds of soaps here. These are anti-aging and uh, anti-aging and anti-wrinkle products. Of course, we don't want to uh, grow old uh, ugly. We need to grow old beautiful and handsome. So please subscribe to my channel and uh, and before we say goodbye, Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.